when my dad was being taken, when he was in the, um, in his rehab center and his oxygen level was like around 80, I called you and I said, you know, Dr. Sampson, they Mm want to take my dad to a hospital and should we just leave him at the rehab center just to see if like, you know, we just want him to be comfortable. We knew that it, it was dire for him. Um, and we also knew that the hospitals were very overcrowded at that point. Um, and you said, mm-hmm. no, Bev, you got to get your dad to a hospital. He will not be comfortable with 80% oxygen. That's not going to be an right. option. What are some of the other things mm-hmm. you can tell people? Cause I'm, I'm, because I was just on the Tamron Hall show talking about my dad. I've had so many people mm-hmm. call and ask about, you know, if my, if my elderly parent comes down with COVID um, and they're taken to the hospital, what are the questions that we should be asking? What are the things we should be looking out for? Because you also told me, you know, Bev, you know, ventilators and all of that, you know, it's obviously up to you, but we're like seeing bad things happening to people that are on ventilators, mm-hmm. especially at that age. So if you could just mm-hmm. kind of talk mm-hmm. a little bit about questions that families can be asking of doctors once their family members um, have contracted COVID and um, once they go to a hospital, elderly family. Yeah, that's, that's a great question, Bev. And, and uh, we, we all know one person is not the same as another person. So yeah. I think you have to first and foremost with our parents and our mature um, population, you have to keep in mind what are their wishes? How would they want mm-hmm. to proceed if they didn't have a choice in their health care in that moment? Yes, if you I should have mentioned. I should have mentioned that that you actually asked me about that with our, with my dad. You asked me about yeah. the, the 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 you know did he have a do not resuscitate and all that. So yes, mm-hmm. and my daddy did not want yeah. to be on tubes and machines. So go on. That's right, and so I think that's the, that's the first and foremost important aspect to, to consider if your uh, your parent or your grandparent would want. Uh, beyond normal measures taken. And that doesn't mean that you're doing anything to cause their death. It's just saying that you're honoring their wishes to to sort of have a quality of life that is in line with their philosophy and what they want their life to be. And so that's mm-hmm. first and foremost and paramount. Um, and then, you know, you go from there, you, you have to deal with the presentation. Like I know with your father, his oxygen dropped but for us to put him on oxygen at the hospital is not a heroic measure at all. It's a very basic measure to do to give him a chance at reaching his normal state or any patient reaching their normal state. Uh, the same with intravenous or IV fluids, but it's when we start to intubate or put a patient on a ventilator that we're saying, now, are we going above and beyond? I have a few colleagues now, two of them, who are both on ventilators. One is on dialysis. Unfortunately, he's not showing any brain activity. And oh, so, the, you know, so now he's being kept alive and, and we don't know what is going to come. But I don't know if he and I don't, I don't know his personal wishes, but I, w- I don't know if he would want to go through such extremes if there was no promise of a normal life. And so that's mm-hmm. what we just want to keep in mind of. And these are hard emotional decisions to make. I, I know we were speaking of nursing homes and. I don't know if you know, Bevy, but I lost my brother uh, last Thursday. Yes. He was in a nursing home. He yes. passed away. Um, and so, so it's, uh, you know, so it's, 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 it's happening. Like it's real out and as far as this virus is concerned and it is attacking the most vulnerable population. Uh, but at the same time, I think keeping paramount and foremost in your mind, what your loved ones would want is important to honor that, to have that discussion with them as well. It's, it's, it's an uncomfortable discussion, but to have that discussion and to then consult with your physician, your healthcare provider, to make sure you're staying within the borders of what that wish may be for that loved one of yours. 